Let's go back to where it all started, man. Sophomore year of high school, okay? Yeah. You were playing basketball, right? What happened? Mm -hmm. Let everybody know what happened. Uh, shoot. I was playing basketball. I remember I was with Coach Hill. Um, and Coach Pereira walked into our field house. Um, and he kind of was like, you know, we're either going to make the decision now um, or it's going to be an issue. <laughs> and I had no issue. So I was like, shoot, all right, you know, what's up? Um, you know, I went out to practice, uh, stopped playing basketball, actually went out to practice uh, with track, and I did not like it at all. Uh, but it was fun because, shoot, I knew I was fast, but I didn't think I was, you know, I didn't think I was this fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no, that's, that's pretty much the sum of it. He drug me out of there, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. But I gave it a try, and ever since then, I just didn't look back. I'm going to take you back to 2013, Joliet West sectional 200-meter dash. Do you remember that? I think so, yeah. I do remember that, actually. Yeah, that was I was – that was my first um that was my first like major meet, I guess. I was nervous. I had a and you apparently you let up crossing the finish line and lost. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did lose actually to um Sam Bransby. <laughs> <laughs> and then you almost wanted to quit, right? Yeah, I didn't want to run no more because I was like, but it was my fault. So everybody was like, kind of, I mean, shoot, what you mad for? Like that, like, that was your fault. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like anything that happened. I was like, I mean, nah, I don't, I didn't really like that. I didn't like losing because I was winning all season. We were doing good all season. So I was like, nah. I it's pretty crazy that you guys finished. I believe six in conference, but then finished six in state. Yeah, between me, and, me and Luke. <laughs> you and Luke. I mean, it was like it was insane. It was like you guys were bad in the conference, and then we go to the state meet, and it's like, well, you're almost a trophy winner there. I mean, in all honesty, when me and Luke were down there, we already kind of knew it was like, all right, we, we gotta we gotta run, like we gotta do this. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta go ahead and handle some business. And shoot, we kind of went out there piece by piece. He was there by my side. I was there in between races and cheering him on. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was good love. So I think that's kind of what got us through. And surprisingly, we didn't even notice until after the meet was over. We were like, yo, we damn, we just kind of got six in the state. <laughs> just, uh, shoot, that's up. Well, it's a good thing that you didn't quit after letting up in that 200 because you went on to become a five-time state champion. Yes, sir. 1050, 4624, and 20.96 to win the Triple Crown. What's the most impressive to me is you are the first Triple Crown winner in the 121-year history of the state. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't... I know that, but it's like I ain't never like celebrated that, you know what I'm saying? So I never really felt that, you know what I mean? I wish Central would have, you know, do something in there, but it is. Like, yeah, it, I mean, to me, to me, this is something. It's historic, right? And it uh, shouldn't be. It shouldn't be overlooked to the point where, you know, I I hate when people are recognized after they die, right? Yeah, right. I'm a. I'm a believer in giving people their flowers while they're here, sitting yeah. right here, you know, well-deserved. And it's no disrespect to everybody in the Hall of Fame at Plainfield Central. Right. Um, but when somebody comes out here and does something that hasn't been done in the entire history of state track and field, it, it's almost like we need something more. Yeah. Right. And it's yeah. other than just yeah. giving you a clap and sending you off, especially right. now it's, you know, we're 10 years later and, you know, we, you're still talked about mightily in the state. At least I, I keep it alive for you. And I know yeah, that's respect. Living. I appreciate yeah. it for real. Yeah, man. Cause I'll never forget the hunt invite, man. It, it, it You ran the 200 in the dark. And I remember, I remember standing there in the end zone, watching you literally glide 
yeah. across the track. And I'm just like, and I was probably a freshman or sophomore. I'm like, man, like this guy runs different. Like <laughs> it Yeah, um, it was it was it was crazy because the first time I ever did the hunt, um, you know, I was all for doing the major events and stuff, but I did almost every single event. And it was crazy. Like I was that was fun. Like that was fun. We had all the schools there from the playing yep. field and stuff. That was cool. We crowned it. We crowned yeah, it. Yeah, for we sure. crowned it for sure. Um, and I, I do think it, you know, there's not a ball involved in in our sport, right? It's not right. football, it's not basketball, it's not softball, baseball. And that's where I think you know, there's there's no light being shed on our sport, you know. It, I mean, and I mean to cut you off. It's like it's even like that when the, when the, in the pro world, you know. Um, I was with Nike for I was blessed to be with Nike for, you know, 4 years and everything. Uh, my contract just ended and stuff, but during those 4 years, I mean, even though you know we were traveling the world, you know, having fun and running all these different places and stuff, and getting paid to do it, um, you know, the light on this sport is is not what you would assume. Um, yeah, we are still professional athletes at the end of the day, um, but when it comes to what the world thinks of a professional athlete, we're not. It's not what you guys are thinking, you know. And it sucks because we are here busting our butts, you know, what I'm saying yep. and running like solely for us, you know. what I'm saying it's not for necessarily a. Uh, a team, you know what I'm saying, or anybody else is literally you in the lane and we're not getting the light for it. It sucks, but I mean, hey, it's a life. I don't know what to say about it. What's your favorite lane? All right, so if we indoors, I have to say four. Yeah, put me smack in the middle. I got I to gotta, I gotta see what's behind me a, a little bit, feel it, but I got to see what's in front of me for sure. And then... Outdoor, shoot, I'll say five. Yeah, I'll say five, five or six, really six. Before we get to like your college and pro stuff, because we're going to get to that, obviously. Sure. Um, did you go to state junior and senior year? Yeah. Or- With the junior, my junior year, I went down. With you didn't triple one. crown your junior year. No, I triple crowned my senior year. And then my junior year, I went down and won the two and the four. Okay. And then, yeah. okay. Was it Cole Pekin or? Cole Henderson. Cole, Cole Henderson yeah. from Pekin. Yeah, yeah. No, he was from, um, yeah. Yeah, he You're- was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you remember um, Scotty Miller. Scotty Miller. In the 100. Yeah, that was that was that was yeah he was that was a senior year actually, and it was crazy to me because you know nobody saw you as a one hundred runner in high school at all. You know it I was didn't, I didn't even think I was you know a one hundred <laughs> in all honesty, but I was like shoot why not? Yeah, I, it was you know a ten five. I mean, obviously that's gonna win a state meet for the most yeah. part. You know, most years a ten five yeah. will do it. Um, but nobody thought that. you could. I didn't think I could because <laughs> everything was how – how I think they still do it this way. How the schedule was, everything was like almost back to back to back. It was almost mm-hmm. like maybe 30 minutes in between each one. So after the – I think it was the 400 – no, the 200 was first, I believe. And then the four and then the one was – no, then the one and then the, one, uh, the four was last. The 400 was last. I remember that. And, and during that, go ahead. That was that was it. That was mm, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. You, you had the most iconic photos. You know, after after you won the hundred, you know, you held up the one. I did. For, <laughs> you knew you were gonna get triple crown, man. You knew yeah, it that year know, for sure. <laughs> and then you go two after you I won the two hundred. Yeah. And then that three Bro. triple crown, man, is like As man. <laughs> It was crazy because again, it was like I knew once once I got the harder, the more hard event, you know, which was the more tougher in the one hundred. Um, 
I was like, all right, now I can kind of coast through. And I wasn't like cocky in high school, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. wasn't like a boasting type of guy. Yeah. You know? But I feel like once I knew, I bet I got the 200 done. All right, yeah, now the 400, I right, none nobody, nobody messing with me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just do what I do. And we went out. We had a blast. That was fun. I had a big – so I don't know if anybody really remembers, but in um in, in Charleston they have this – Lemonade, and it's oh, yeah. a it's a it's a freaking <laughs> get. It's like it's like literally this big, and you have to hold it with two hands. So once I finished the four hundred, my coach Pereira, I love you, man. I miss you for real. But my coach Pereira, man, he bought me one, and I gulped it the whole. <laughs> I just gulped it, bro. I caught the biggest cramp, but it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. For real. <laughs> 